Oh, okay, I just wanted to <laughs> get her a little intro out of the way because usually there's a pause on the uh, uh, the videos when we uh, start the programs up, so I just threw that on there. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about um, Shopify FD um, dashboard tool by Freak Design. Um, a great company, excellent programmer, expert on the Shopify uh, website. <clears throat> um, this program will actually allow you to um, edit meta fields um, for products. So um, typically, Shopify is very simple. It has you know your product name. Um, it has a little tag you can put underneath pricing, uh, product description. Okay, add to cart. Um, usually, there's social media icons here, whatever your theme has, and then your related products. Okay. Uh, based on if you have uh, other products, etc., to show. Well, um, it doesn't really matter uh, what theme you're going to use. You can add uh, Shopify FD and, um, and edit and add um, uh, it to the site. So what we wanted to do was um, add this additional information drop-down box um, that the customer can control, the client can control. So in order to do that, I'm not going to get into how we created this drop-down here with the uh, jQuery. I'm not going to get into pasting the code um, into uh, the website. Um, uh, right now, I'm just going to show you how um, to use it. So we've already added the uh, custom code that needs to go in here. Um, and we've already created um, the meta field. Um, I'll cover <clears throat> uh, doing the code and creating the meta field in another video, uh, but that's not for this one. Okay, this is how to use the Shopify FD. So uh, first, you're gonna um, there's an extension for Chrome, um, and it's only for Chrome right now. So uh, the best way to do it is to go ahead and start and add the um, uh, Chrome extension to your site, uh, to your uh, Chrome um, uh, dashboard. So I've already done it. Mine's up here. Okay, um, see my email address. Big deal. Um, I went ahead and installed it. Okay, so now if I ever use it on the sites when I'm logged in, um, it'll let me um, add the meta fields to uh, the products now. So uh, you can create new meta fields, you can copy meta fields, etc. So in this particular instance, I'm just going to show you how to copy it from an existing product that we added, um, and we'll use that as the base product. So this is the product uh, that we already added it to. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this to make it easier um, for uh, you to uh, view this. So in order to uh, view the meta fields, if you click on that little icon, you notice that Shopify has been loaded. So now, um, in this instance, we only have the one field. So I'll go ahead and select it. It go ahead and show me uh, what I need to copy from here. Okay. So I'm not going to copy into this info. I'm just going to select copy all meta fields. So I go ahead and copy all meta fields. And then what I like to do, I just make life a little easier. I'll go ahead and open up. Uh, products in a new tab, and then I want to add it to um, another product. So let me just put it on uh, this one right here, Cosmetic uh, Bag Dusk. Okay. So if I look at this, let me go ahead and click on Shopify FD. It's loaded now. If I select it, notice there's nothing there. Okay. So now, in order to get that same meta field over, instead of me having to, you know, create it, create the namespace, the key, and the value, I could just select Paste Meta Fields. So now it's going to paste the meta fields that I just copied. Um, if I go ahead and select meta fields, now I see that it shows the more and more info. It'll repopulate it with the information that's originally from the uh, other product, but that's okay. So we're just going to copy our information. Um, I had already uh, copied it over, but we're going to get rid of this info because it was in the regular description, okay? And uh, we would update it over here, okay? So now um, this is going to end up showing up. So now all I do is select save, okay? And then I make sure I save the product. And now if I go to view, notice that the price is now gone, but if I click here, now I have my dimensions and my information. So that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and you do that for every product that you need to. Um, in the event that you, you needed to add new meta fields um, for other information underneath the product, you can't just add them in here. So I could go in here and create a new meta field, but the problem is it's not going to show on the website until we paste the custom code on there um, to where it needs to show on the product template. Uh, and that's it.